Next, let's add a shepherd tone, endless glissando, to our creation. We'll add it to the filtered noise prior to the amplitude envelope. To delete the shepherd tone we just added, select the mixer, press the delete key, and then choose the filtered branch as the replacement. Now we're back where we started from. And we can add the shepherd tone after the amplitude envelope, but make it still affected by the stereoizer. Control click on the camera icon to overwrite an existing preset name with new parameter settings. To add to an existing mixer, double click the mixer and drag the new sound into the inputs field of the mixer. Double click in the background to update the signal flow graph. But sound requires time. Also, you can't perceive constant air pressure. Air, air pressure has to change before you perceive the sound. So sound requires change. It's probably requires time. To remove a sound from a mixer, select that sound in the inputs field and press delete. Now let's replace one of the two format filters with a sound modifier called Brittleizer. Drag and drop the new sound onto the old one. Replace the filter, leaving the filter's inputs as the inputs to the new modifier. Let's make these bypass controls into toggles. Control click on the widget and select a new widget type from the menu. Now we can compare the sound through the effect versus bypassing the effect. To hide a sound's inputs, click the three dots. Double click the ellipsis to open it fully. If the signal flow graph is too large to fit on the screen, you can use Control left square bracket to zoom out. To move a sound along with all of its inputs, hold the shift key down as you drag. Otherwise, a drag moves the selected icon only. To save the sound in a sound file, use Control S or select Save from the File menu. Give the file a name with the .kym extension and click Save. Now when we refresh the sound browser, the new sound file shows up as part of the sound library. The green arrow indicates that Stereoizer has a replaceable input. To create a version of this sound having no replaceable input, deselect all and choose Set Replaceable Input from the Action menu. Give this version a new name by selecting the rightmost icon 
and pressing enter. Save the new version without overwriting the old one by selecting Save As from the file menu. Refresh the sound browser and there it is. You've just created two new sounds from nothing and added them to your sound library.